Like, and, you know, and, and, and almost sort of demanding, like, you know, you, Edna, demanding that this conversation be done. I don't want to unpack That's this anymore. This, and that was it. Yeah. yeah. And then you then implore. Right. That's the next right. step. Well, this is my eighth production with uh, uh, Edward, an Edward Albee play. You know, so it's, it's I, I feel, you know, as a director, really in any play, but, you know, maybe especially when you're dealing with, you know, this, these great, you know, sort of modern classics that, you know, uh, the goal is to really uncover the author's intent. One thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's another. You know, and yeah. respond to how strong she is. Right. Yeah, because it's it's not it's not a story of the yeah. wife leaves the room and the and the man blossoms. There's sometimes when there's a symbiosis between a writer and a director, and I think we really have that happening here in a synergistic way between Pam McKinnon and the writer Edward Albee. Uh, they have a very close relationship. I believe this is the eighth production that they've worked on together. So she knows his work very, very clearly, and he understands her as well, so that she can really be a channel for him uh, in and through to the actors. And uh, that kind of relationship is its rare, uh, but it's wonderful when it happens. So watching Pam uh, direct, she has been able to morph all the information uh, that Edward Albee gives her of his own life experiences, what he meant when he was writing a particular passage, and she then can be the channel uh, through which those ideas come to the actors. And well, and Agnes has just set the two of you up, to have a mother right? I think I think I think I think that this this yeah. duo is unusual, and mm -hmm. she she has you know purposefully sort of said, you know, she's speaking a code when you enter. He has a very odd notion of what a director's responsibility is, however, <clears throat> to do what the playwright intended in the way the playwright intended it. That's, that's, not, that's not as common as you might think. I think one of the skills a director has to have is that they have to find a way to work with each individual actor. Because there isn't one way of working that works for everybody. And uh, particularly if you have strong, talented people with strong opinions and whatever, you have to find a way of talking to that person and collaborating with that person. And I, it, it, the freedom at the beginning was a little unusual for me. I'm used to sort of people saying, well, uh, stand on this line, cross on there, sit there, and if you have a problem, we'll talk about it later. And we had a lot of uh, freedom to explore, which was uh, a little, I guess, frightening to me at first. But then, then I got used to it and appreciated it. And it does become organic that way. It does sort of evolve as the staging evolves, as the relationships evolve. And I, I enjoyed watching Pam talk to each person in a different way. And I must say, an appropriate way. And that's a real skill that you have to have because uh, actors are all very different. 